How's it going to up for TV? My name is Jack and welcome to my preview for Nottingham Forest versus Chesterfield taking place um, what will be today for you um, at what Google calls the Technique Stadium. Um, I, I'm not too sure on the Chesterfield Stadium name unfortunately. Um, but yeah, in our first pre-season friendly. So Forest are back after their um, summer break um, of clinching uh, Premier League survival. Uh, mathematically on the final day away at Turf Moor um, we're back for our first pre-season friendly um, away at Chesterfield um, it should be one that we win um, a good opportunity to um, to get a bit of fitness back in the boys um, to to give um, some players a run out who uh, might be in um, Nuno's thinking of whether they might be in the first team or whether they might be loaned out kind of thing and um, just good to get some minutes back in the legs, some match experience, you know, match sharpness um, being being worked on in one thing or another. So, uh, yeah, be, should be a good one. Should be a good opportunity to uh, potentially see some of the new signings, uh, see some of the youngsters who might be uh, potentially get a bit of a look in and um, see sort of um, yeah what Nuno's looking to try and do um, next season it's uh, always interesting the pre-season friendly there's always a good opportunity to try and jump up a bit of excitement um, and um, hopefully Chesterfield away um, if anyone's going to that I hope you have a fantastic time uh, but yeah Chesterfield away I think it's going to be quite a quite a, quite a good one to start off the pre-season friendly um, season try and get um some positivity under the belt, a win, and um, get some good performances in there. Try and get some of our attackers with some goals in their uh, in their accounts. Try and get a clean sheet if possible for the defence. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how things pan out, how it goes, and see if any of the youngsters get an opportunity that might you know um, see something different about them. Maybe some of our signings, Anderson, um, is it D'Souza? I think he's called. Um, his name just escaped me for a second there. And um, Carlos Miguel between the sticks. Um, whether he'll get a win out, I don't know. But um, yeah, look, it's uh, it's it's always interesting to see how preseason friendlies pan out, and um, I'm looking forward to this one. You know, um, Chesterfield are a side who, you know, are probably going to cause us a lot of issues on paper. I think they're going to be a team that we should be beating, but um, you know, we're still going to be on our A game. We're still going to be playing our best. You know, we can't glide through a game like this thinking, oh, well, we're going to win it anyway. So it's not put, no, not really much point in trying because if you do that, then, you know, you might lose your, lose your place. You know, you could be seen to kind of be a bit, um, you know, not taking it as seriously as you should do. And somebody else comes in, takes that opportunity and does take it as seriously as they should do. And they're able to go on and, uh, and, and take your place so you know by all means it's a game we should be winning but it's a game where I'm really looking forward to seeing some of our players make that um, a step back into into playing into a match situation and really showing us what we've got and, and what we can be excited by I've seen a few clips of you know Nico uh, or sorry Neko um, Anthony Alanga Danilo um, Hudson Adoy seen them in, in sort of in pre preseason training and looking sharp you know um Murillo as well I've seen him there Anthony Langer looks really good really sharp he looks like he looks in good condition um you know it could be quite uh easy for players to have a couple of weeks off and um sort of put on the pounds a little bit and, and wait for preseason to try and lose the weight but it looks like for Langer he's been continuing to keep himself in good shape in good nick which is really important and last season he struggled a bit with injuries so hopefully he can stay fit and have a really consistent run in the first team um you know I expect a big season for him you know if he can keep fit and, and he looks he looks like he's been doing so over the summer period so that's a real uh, positive something that's really good to see so hopefully like I say we can keep that going and have a really a really big season I normally like to do um sort of Lineup predictions and stuff for the game, but I'm not going to do one for a preseason friendly like this. Um, I'm I've no idea who's in Nuno's thinking. There could be some youngsters that you know we're probably like I'd never be able to pull a name out. I recognise the name on the team sheet, but I don't think I'd be able to pick them out as someone off the top of my head that might get a start. So I'm not going to go into that sort of thing. But uh, hopefully we get the win. I'm going to go with a two 0 win. A nice. Confident two 0 win to, to start off the campaign. And we're going to go with in two silly because in pre season we never really seemed to do that. We never really seemed to to 
put goal after goal after goal away. But um, if we can get the ball and um, keep it ticking, control the possession, control the proceedings, keep the ball and, um, you know, look to, to focus on that and build our energy, build our fitness through that way, then, yeah, we'll be really happy. We have dominant performance and, and really, uh, you know, just getting some minutes in the legs of some of our players and uh, hopefully... We can see some of our players stay fit this season. You know, you look at Taiwo and he's someone that if he stays fit can be a real, real asset. We saw that at the back end of not last season, the season before, came came back from injury and, and finished the campaign on ten goals, you know. So hopefully we can keep him fit this season because I think it'll be really huge if we can, not just for our chances, but for himself. I really want to see new um sorry, I really want to see Taiwo kick on this season and really show what he's got. Have a full season that's that's not Blighted by injury, but one that's um, offering him a chance to um, to to have that run, that opportunity to stay in the side and, and show what he can really do over a, a thirty-eight game season. Now, obviously, I'm not expecting him to play a physical match, but for him to be in in content in contention for every match would be would be absolutely amazing, and I really hope he does that. Um, but yeah, like I say, some of the youngsters have a chance today. You know, a chance to show what they're worth and show that they might be worth staying in the side, or an opportunity for them to to go on to sort of gain some interest from clubs looking at him and, and thinking, or oh, could we look at getting him on loan and um, looking at, at trying to build a bit of experience that way, which is really key. I watch a podcast um, that often has, um, well, they always interview sort of ex professionals and stuff, and and they always talk about how going on loan was a really important thing for them. It gave them the platform to to build some confidence, build themselves up as a player, as a person. And, you know, that could be a, an opportunity for them to, to do that. Not just a chance to see who Nuno is going to pick. It's a chance for, for youngsters to, to put themselves in contention for either a place in the starting, or well, the, the, not starting 11, the, uh, the the main squad, or even a chance for them to, to try and get themselves out on loan. It'll be really interesting to see what he does. It'll be interesting to see if Nuno sticks to the back three that he deployed at times at the end of last season, or whether he goes to that 4-2-3-1, which he used for quite a bit of his time um, in the dugout last season. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. But look, overall, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how things go. I'm looking forward to um, seeing who starts and what sort of performances we see. Um, but yeah, going into the uh, into the the score prediction so I, I said 2-0 but um, as long as it's a, a positive for us I'll be I'll be happy with that one um, but yeah let us know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on the game um, you know it'll be, it'll be interesting to see um, who some of you think might get a look in or what you expect of the game and all that good stuff be good to have Forrest back um, the uh, accounts the official social media accounts finally posted about the new kits um, we'll find out in the morning or you probably already know now but i'll find out in the morning what the kits look like and uh, hopefully we'll have them on in time for the uh, chesterfield game don't know why it's taken so long but they better be good because the training stuff wow the training stuff is beautiful i feel like there'll be a dent in my bank account trying to trying to um cop some of that but uh, hopefully the 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 kits are really nice and uh, it's worth the wait but yeah let us know in the, in the comments down below what your thoughts on the game all that good stuff like if you have enjoyed thank you for watching and come on you reds